Welcome back, comic book collectors and enthusiasts. My name is Brandon. You're watching Mon Comics. Hey folks, happy Friday. Welcome back to another episode of Mon Comics. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much, as usual, for choosing to tune in and watch another video I've put out. For anyone new to the channel, welcome to Mon Comics, where I talk about how I get comics in the middle of nowhere, utilizing online resources, whether it's buying or trading, uh, anywhere I can get my hands on my comics, because my LCSs aren't close. So if you uh, maybe want to learn something, go through my collecting journey, if you wouldn't mind hitting subscribe and uh, liking this video, and then maybe leaving a comment about some of the books I showed, it'd be greatly appreciated. It allows me to grow the channel, do more giveaways in the future, because I love doing giveaways. Uh, and as per the thumbnail today and the title of the video, you can probably guess this is all about online trading. Something that I wanted to talk about uh, that I've had great success with that I love doing. Uh, so let's get a little bit into that. So trading online. Uh, what does that do for people? Uh, it allows two people to get books uh, that they really want in their collection without having to do anything other than send each other uh, books they agree upon and paying for shipping. Um, usually how this works, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, if, if you've never traded before, uh, you have to build up a, a reputation of being a, a trusted um trusted trader. Uh, that can be done a few different ways. Um, once you're, you know, you've traded a few trades, you can have a reference uh, tab going or a, a sheet of references of people you can actually refer them to. Uh, but if you don't, if it's your first time trading, there's a couple ways to go about it. Some Facebook groups will help you facilitate the trade by having a third party mediator, maybe an admin in the group that'll help you out. Uh, one way it can be done is uh, someone that does have the references, maybe it's not their first time trading. Maybe uh, they've done some trades in the past and you haven't, they would ask you to send your books first and then upon them receiving them uh, in how they're packaged and, uh, and, and no damage or anything and it's not a scam, uh, then they can send their books out to you. You need to do your due diligence of who you're trading with. You know, Asking for references is a big thing. Um, another way people do it is uh, via coined picks. A coined pick is a picture of the books they're willing to trade and then the person's name and date. Now this is important. If any of you follow me on Instagram, I just outed a scammer the other day uh, that sent me some coined picks of Photoshop pictures. And um, I was able to look at the pictures, determine they were Photoshopped, and that the coin, the paper they had in there was Photoshop too. And so I did a quick Google search and I was able to find two of the books he was trying to sell me uh, on eBay. Uh, and I was able to match the CGC uh, cert number. So it's a little more easy with uh, graded books, you know, um, raw books a little harder. So do your due diligence. Um, and how you're you're training with people and, and doing your research. Uh, someone should have no problem coining a pick for you, and they should have no problem supplying references if they are a legitimate and trusted trader. Uh, as for packaging and shipping the items, uh, you know you've all received stuff in the mail, but maybe you ripped it open too fast and you really don't know you know how to put stuff together. I'm gonna leave in the link in the description below uh, from a good community member, Rob Fat Stacks of Comics. He did a wonderful video on how to package and ship comic books. Uh, he breaks it down really well, and I think it's very useful and great for anyone just you know just starting to maybe send comics to someone. But trading is a great way for two parties, like I said, to get books they want without having to pay any cash other than shipping. Um, it's a, just a great way to grow your collection. Um, as far as shipping costs, I know they can be pricey, but if you do have a home computer and access to a printer, uh, you don't even need actually a home computer. If you just have a printer and your phone, uh, PirateShip.com uh, is uh, deeply discounted shipping rates. Uh, so you can send stuff priority or ground for a lot less than if you were going to use the U.S. Postal Service. So I highly recommend that if you have access to it. Uh, so let me uh, show you. I had two different trades. Uh, let me uh, show you what I got and talk a little about the books and who I traded with. So these first two books uh, came to me by way of a gentleman by the name of Tommy who uh, was watching one of my videos on uh, my fear run. And he just put in the comments like, hey. Um, you know, I've got a fear number seven coming in and uh, a fantastic four book. I think you need, um, I, I'd be willing to trade with you. So I found him on Instagram and I reached out and, uh, he sent me some detailed pictures, uh, through email of both fear number seven, as well as uh, fantastic four one Oh one. And I was like, fantastic. What do you want back? And he's like, oh, I'm really into bronze age horror. Uh, just surprise me. Uh, so since he was so kind to reach out, he told me that the, about the value of his books were about, he had $25 into them, and he was so kind to uh, reach out and offer to help. I sent him four Bronze Age books 
that were probably like maybe $35 if you were gonna you know flip them you could get with them like Werewolf by Night and a couple others but I sent him four books to his two because I wanted to make sure that he was as pleased with the deal uh, as I was is it necessary no but it's just I like to build good rapport with people Tommy was super nice to reach out and offer that to me so let me show you what he gave me uh, in trade the first is issue number seven of Adventure into Fear really nice copy probably like a 7-0 copy uh, beautiful, beautiful cover. I now have um, one through ten of uh, Adventure, or one through nine of just the Fear title before it turned into Adventure and Fear. So this was from 1972. Uh, the original stories and art, uh, which this is all reprints, were from Stan Lee and Larry Lieber. This was penciled by Jack Kirby, and the cover art is by Gil Kane. And I do love that monster cover art. Uh, guy and a doctor, you got to help me. You got to get me out. There's a monster behind that screen waiting to kill me. Cool monster design. So this reprints uh, stories from Strange Tales 96, Journey into Mystery 61, 57, and 66. Uh, all reprints. I think I might make it a collecting goal to go back uh, next year and try to get some of the original stories. Um, I'm a big sucker for Silver Age uh, pre-hero Marvel books that really held Marvel over before they got into their superhero titles. And uh, it's fun to get this. Uh, again, I traded, so it didn't cost me anything other than books. But these are, again, a cheap, great way to uh, obtain reprinted stories from books that are a little more expensive. And uh, I was having a talk with uh, my buddy Ricky from All Sorts of Words. And, you know, a lot of us agree that pre-code horror books, they're mostly always slabbed and they're cover buys. No one tells you about... A crime suspense stories number nine story that blew their socks off. You know, it's it's uh, mostly about the covers, and uh, with these books, the stories are are better. I feel uh, covers are great and offer some macabre uh, depictions, and it's more economical. So, fear number seven was the first one he traded me. Thank you so much, Tommy. I now lack just thirteen and nineteen from having the first nineteen issues of Adventure in a Fear. I might just go for the whole run this year. Uh, you know, I think it's up to thirty one or thirty two. Um, for Adventure into Fear, and uh, as you go down the line, there's no real big keys, uh, and Morbius is in some of the later ones, so I might go for it. I'll figure that out and adjust as I complete my goals. The next book he was able to help me with is Fantastic Four 101. So I'm doing the Kirby, uh, Jack Kirby Stan Lee run, which was 1 through 102, and uh, this one came out in 1970, of course, uh, written by Stan Lee and art by Jack Kirby. Uh, significance of this one, first appearance of the Hammerhead family. Uh, Top Man, Big Rock, and Gimlet. So I have yet to read this yet, but uh, again, very nice condition. Uh, the end of the Silver Age, if you will, beginning of the Bronze Age. Uh, so I was very happy uh, to add another one to my collection. Um, thanks so much, Tommy, for reaching out, uh, for being so easy to trade with. It just makes it so much fun, uh, besides trading and acquiring books, to meet contacts uh, within the community uh, that uh, might be able to help you find something down the line. It's just, you know, it's fun to collect, but when the community, you're, you're involved with the community and you're meeting people and, and helping them and they're helping you, that's when it really gets fun. So thanks, Tommy. I appreciate you, man. Uh, these will find a good home in my collection. Okay, next up. This was a trade, kind of. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Troy reached out. Surprise, hashtag comic book shout out. I am shouting out awesome toy box with Troy. I'll leave his link in the description. I found Troy just kind of how I do find a lot of other YouTubers. He just popped up as my suggestion one day. Guy after my own heart. He loves my boy Ted Salas, our boy the man thing. Uh, he collects a lot like I do. He recently got a giant size X-Men 1 in a 2.0 and his video, go check it out. He's just so thrilled to have it. He's like me, you know. I got that Daredevil, one, you know, number one in a 1.0. Just so thrilled to have it. Uh, he does some really great videos, great haul videos. Uh, he does have a great collection. He has a beautiful slab display by him. And he was kind enough to reach out and, uh, you know, say on Instagram and say, hey, I've got these books. I want to get them to you. Um, I said, what do you want in trade? He's like, I just want to help out other collectors. What kind of awesome guy is that? It just blew my mind. So I do have his address now, and I'm going to put together an awesome package uh, to send back to him. So my hashtag comic book shout out, second one of this year, is going to Awesome Toy Box with Troy. Please go check him out. Awesome guy, fantastic collection, and wait till you see these books he sent me. Okay, first book, Fantastic Four, number 40. 
the Battle of the Baxter Building. So as you can see, my boy Daredevil, Matt Murdock, right on there. This is a continuation from Fantastic Four 39 uh, from 1965, of course, Stanley and Jack Kirby. Uh, this uh, one, Daredevil continues to fight alongside the Fantastic Four uh, to protect the Baxter Building, uh, defending it from Doctor Doom. Uh, so another, you know, issue in the 40s crossed off my list, list thanks to the help of a fellow community member. Um... Daredevil looks much better in this one than he does in the cover of 39. If you've watched my previous video where it has him feebly walking down the street with a Fantastic Four, he looks more, much more action-packed in this one. So this was the first book. All right, next one, Fantastic Four 42. Uh, this one, pretty cool, 1965, Stanley, Jack Kirby, Frightful Four have already captured and brainwashed the Thing to fight against the other members of Fantastic Four, and in this issue, they capture and brainwash the Human Torch. So they're trying to get all the Fantastic Four and to brainwash them to do their bidding. Uh, so Frightful Four, I've got all their first appearances and, and everyone involved with that. And um, now I've got this one in there. So 40 and 42. Thanks, Troy. This was really nice of you to think of me. Uh, really starting to dial in the Fantastic Four run. Of course, issues 10 and down, even 20 and down. It's a lifetime goal. I'm, I'm realistic with that, and I'm okay with that. I'm having fun. Uh, the stack is building up of these, and I can't wait. All right, next book is a little a little later in the Fantastic Four catalog, but what a great cover. So number 216 from 1980. So this is cool because this is the year I was born. Uh, written by Marv Wolfman and Bill Manlo. Uh, cover was done by Rich Buckler and Al Milgram. Um, so this is the uh, Fantastic Four versus the Futurist in this one. Have not read it. Uh, definitely going to give it a read. John Byrne actually did the pencils uh, on the inside for this. So shout out to Mr. Akins of what's on the comic rack. Byrne notice. Uh, really cool that he just included this book. Uh, always happy to get. I have I have a good stack of Fantastic Four in the later uh, later or higher number issues. So maybe next year I'll just start chipping away at some of them. So uh, thank you for this one. Guys, y'all know my channel. You know I'm not a modern collector. But when I saw this, I, it blew my mind. And it sent me down a bit of a modern rabbit, rabbit hole. So this last book he sent me, and you'll know right away why I love it. This is Fantastic Four uh, Antithesis, Antithesis, say how you want, number two from 2020. This is a Patch Zercher uh, version variant, limited to 1,500 copies. Um, it's the first uh, cover appearance of the villain, uh, Antithesis, and uh, an homage to FF49, of course, which is somewhere behind me, right over there. Um, I dug into this a little bit, and this villain is the negative zone equivalent to Galactus. I plan on diving into it via the Marvel app uh, this uh, weekend, but man, what a stunning, striking cover. Um, Virgin Variants, if you're, if you're not uh, familiar with them, it's nothing on the cover, so not touched. Um, so there's no price, there's no Marvel, there's nothing. It just allows for a full-fledged uh, art beautiful picture on the front. Uh, I do see the draw to them for a lot of modern collectors. It, it really has become a piece of art. So this blew my mind. This is going to get me down a rabbit hole that I didn't think I'd go down. So I, I think it's a four issue series. Uh, so Troy, thanks for, you know, blowing my hair back, knocking my socks off with this one. This is great. So uh, Fantastic Four, Antithesis uh, number two in the collection. So folks, I highly advise if you have a chance to trade, you're looking to, you know, expand your collection kind of on the cheap, uh, you know, give it a try. Reach out. Start making those connections. That's what a lot of life is. It's what a lot of collecting and hobbies are, is making those connections. Uh, what do I got coming up? Uh, next week, I am very, very honored. On Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Central Time, I will be the first guest on my good friend, 22 Comics. Uh, he's doing a new series uh, called Collecting Uncensored. Uh, he's taking a deep dive into collectors on what they collect, why they collect, are they readers, are they run collectors, are they cover collectors. Uh, 22 Comics, if you haven't checked out his channel, just one of the nicest guys in the hobby. Uh, and one of the funniest I've met, too. He's down in Alabama. Uh, so definitely check that out next week. You can go hit notify. It's under his live tabs already. And I'm very, very honored to be his first guest. Uh, so thank you for that, 22. Uh, and then April 27th, I've got the Big Five Live. It's going to be a Saturday at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Central Time. I'll post more to my Instagram and talk about it in upcoming videos as we get closer to that. But thanks, as always, for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate uh, the trades, uh, Tommy and Troy, 
Uh, Troy, you'll be getting the package from me very soon. Uh, what do you guys, has anyone out there successfully traded? Has anyone had good experiences, bad experiences? Let me know in the comments. Is anyone into Virgin Variant covers? I, I see the draw now for modern collectors. Uh, but don't take me away from my, uh, you know, my Silver Age Fantastic Four. So I hope you guys have a great, safe weekend. And until next time, keep reading those comics.